But uh, a place called Wiregrass, as Kathy mentioned, is uh, told in the voice of a woman. It was my first novel. And it's about Irma Lee Jacobs, a good old girl from Louisiana, who actually runs away from an abusive marriage. She's raising her granddaughter. And they start over again in this town called Wiregrass, Alabama, which a lot of you might know as South Alabama. And she starts working as a housekeeper for this elderly woman who is sick. And the elderly woman is kind of this former socialite. She's aged out of society, but she's going to take Irma Lee on as her last project and show her how to start her life over again. But what happens is this older woman, Miss Claudia, ends up having to come to terms with a secret from her first marriage that nobody knows about. And they have to travel back to Florida where she grew up to help settle her demons, so to speak. So that is a place called Wiregrass. And a lot of people will ask me, like, where on earth did you get the idea for this? Well, I didn't start working on it until I was around 30. And at that age, as somebody mentioned yesterday, I started kind of taking inventory of my life. And my mom and I had been in an abusive household with my biological father. And we got out thanks to my grandparents, but we never talked about it. We just kind of buried it in the past. And at that age, I started thinking about how our life would have been so different if we had not had my grandparents to help us get out. And that's where I came up with this character, Irma Lee, and this novel shows how family is more than blood relations. Family is also those people who help us during the rough times in life and our friends. So that's what this novel's about to me, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again.